Hey everybody, um, it's a massive pleasure to be here. Thanks also for organizing this. Um, I wanted to start with a look at how the German media is covering this topic. Yeah? Um, if you're reading the news, you would read stuff like, robots will steal your jobs. You will all be unemployed very soon. Now, I don't think so. Yeah? I think actually artificial intelligence will have a very positive impact on your job and on the way we are working. So I would like to go through actually a bit more of an explanation um, what I think this impact is going to look like, um, how it works technically, because I think part of this being afraid is that people just don't understand it, um, and also what it means for you. In the end, I will also uh, give you a hint what you need to do personally to become a millionaire in this industrial revolution. So let's get started. Um, first of all, please remember, this is not the first revolution. Three million years ago, uh, there was job specialization happening, right? So if you were good at hunting, you would do the hunting and somebody else would take care of the kids. Yeah? And um, then, um, 3,000 years ago, we had central organization starting. Yeah? So that was, for example, for building the pyramids, it was not just a bunch of specialists building these, but um, there was a central organization, the state, that was organizing this work and planning it. And that was ha having a huge impact on how effective this is, of course. Yeah? Then, uh, 2,000 years later, in England, we had the first um, decentral organization, like a start of enterprises, that um, is, again, a lot more efficient organizing work. And all of these um, revolutions still play out until today. And I think the most influential, it was already mentioned today, is the Industrial Revolution, um, started 200 years ago. And I think it's still ongoing uh, with the automation of simple tasks. Now, the new revolution is about automation of decisions. And this is what is now possible. And um, the, the difference to the one we had 200 years ago is that the automation of tasks so far was just possible of things that were clear uh, from the beginning. So you needed to know there is a task and you had to know, okay, step one, two, three, four, five. Um, now we can also automate things which need a decision in between. And that is new. Um, to uh, make you understand how it works from a technology perspective, I um, want to go through one decision-making process. And I picked one that you should all still remember, and I think many of you have just made this specific decision. It's um, what should you study? Yeah, so imagine uh, you are just finishing school, and then you need to make this big decision, you have no clue, um, and there's like millions of options. Now, um, you would say a machine can never automate this, right? But let's, let's try to go through the steps of what would be necessary to automate this. Yeah? First of all, it's quite similar to what you are doing personally. Yeah? You're looking at um, some texts, some interviews, you are looking at um, studies um, or rankings. Um, and my, maybe you are jumping directly to a decision after this, uh, this step. A machine needs a lot, a lot more structure. Yeah? Uh, and maybe it would have helped you uh, as well, but um, a machine definitely needs it. And that um, is um, what I would call the structuring of the data. Um, a machine needs to know what is a good decision. Yeah? So it needs to have labels to, that tell them, okay, this is a good decision, this is a bad decision. And in this example, let's say we have happiness and income. So um, if you are... Uh, have a good decision, you have a high income. If you are a uh, good decision, will also be um, like happy. And um, you would measure this and you need to normalize it, uh, let's say from one to five. Yeah, so five is a good decision. That's the first uh, thing. And then you need features, and features are basically data points that um, help the machine predict uh, your labels. So um, you can predict your future income by looking at studies, um, what was somebody earning uh, when he was studying math on average, for example. Yeah? Um, then you can make predictions. This is actually the fun part that everybody's talking about. So there you can use your models, um, and you can actually predict. Um, most likely, when you study philosophy, you will be super happy, but you will be poor. Yeah? Um, if you study math, you are kind of happy uh, and you uh, are having a fall in income, so that's good. But this also is not yet a decision. Yeah? 
this is just a prediction, and I think many startups also in this field start too early, and they start uh, stop there, uh, and say, okay, that's that's the product, and it's not a product, it's also not a decision. For the decision, you need an optimization, and that is, I think, the basic thing. Um, also in your thinking, some people might just care about happiness, others might care just about the income, and uh, let's assume there's somebody who uh, wants both. So we are just averaging these two predictions, and then. Actually, this is the decision, so we're choosing actually math. Yeah? It's not a surprise that the mas machine was uh, study math, right? But um, actually, uh, this is the process of going, you can go through this process for all decisions. Um, all of them can be automated like this. Um, but the big, big question, is this decision, what to study, actually going to be automated? Is it part of this um, industrial revolution? And I don't think so, actually. Yeah? So let's maybe look at the question, how can you um, understand how, um, what decisions will be part of this uh, revolution? Now, what to study, I would put it somewhere here. In terms of ease of automation, so how easy is this uh, to be automated? Um, it's not that easy. I would say income is something you can easily predict and data is um, available. But um, something like happiness, we don't care about that in Germany. Yeah? So I think there's Bhutan, for example. They measure happiness, but in Germany, nobody cares about it. Um, so uh, actually, you can't really predict it well. And if you can't predict it well, it also means that the automation impact um, is not going to be very high. Because I would impact, you can maybe uh, see it as like how much better can the machine be in this decision than you yourself. And if you don't have enough data, then actually you're better off making a decision on your own. But um, what are important decisions that will be automated in this revolution? Um, let's have a look at uh, three of them. Uh, one of them is quite famous, is how to drive. Yeah, so um, autonomous driving is not actually easy to automate. I can tell you that. The raw data is there, but then to structure the data um, on the fly in a driving car and make predictions in that car while it's driving, um, and optimizations as well, is quite difficult, uh, actually. Um, that's why I wouldn't put it like out there, but it's maybe here. But then on the impact side, it's going to be really impactful, because it um, will reduce emissions, there won't be any traffic jams anymore, uh, you will have more time. So um, actually, it's going to be good for you. Yeah? Um, and I just maybe for this example already, you see why this revolution will be good, because you have a choice, right? This is something also you would not uh, choose to automate. You still want to make this decision on your own. Um, and you are likely to make uh, automate decisions where the automation, where the machine is actually better than you. And part of that is also where to invest. Uh, if you are doing day trading, it's really not a good idea, I can tell you that. You should stop, yeah? Because there's machines that are much better at doing this. Um, they make much better decisions in this field. So you should not do it anymore. Yeah? Um, and th therefore, this decision definitely gets automated, and they will become better and better. At some point, you will not make your own decision on this field anymore. Um, another one is how to sell. Yeah, so what price to choose um, is also a decision. There's a lot of data. If you are um, selling 100,000 products in 20 markets, there's so many decisions to make. You cannot do it manually. It will be automated. And um, it will be better um, than what it was before. Yeah? So I think what, you, what I want you to take from this chart is really there is a human choice. The, the, the decisions we will automate in this step are decisions that you do not want to do anymore. And um, as a result, there will be more benefit for you. Less emissions, more money, uh, more time. Yeah? That's why it's going to be positive, the revolution. Um, now maybe a little bit more to detail the impact on companies. I think there will be less meetings. Yeah, because um, today the decision process is basically uh, a young analyst uh, goes to a database, gets some data, copy pastes into Excel. From Excel, he makes a graph and pastes it into PowerPoint. And then there's 10 people sitting in a room and somebody makes a belly decision. Yeah? This is a broken process and it bores everybody. And it will stop in many areas. Yeah? Because if you have automated the decision, you don't need to meet anymore. Um, there will be new profitable software markets because um, Let's take this autonomous driving, and let's say Volkswagen is actually managing to automate this. Um, and let's say they're the best in the world. Then if you have a choice to uh, get a taxi uh, and it's driving you, you want to go with the best one, right? Because you want to be safe in this car. 
So uh, Volkswagen will get more and more drives, and in the end, they will get better because they get more data, and therefore much better, right? So these markets will be quite profitable. Um, and I think in Germany, we, we lost the last uh, like cloud. We lost um, search market. So I think we need to start thinking about these markets and start getting into those. Um, there will be new competitive advantages because there will be global leaders, but not everybody can develop these things on their own. But um, as a car maker, you still need to partner up then. Yeah? So um, you don't have the choice to not go in that uh, direction. If you do not have, have autonomous driving implemented in 10 years, um, you will be out of the market. That's for sure. Um, as an individual, I think it's, it's going to be a relief. Most of you have way too many decisions to make every day. Um, and it will be a relief for you to make less of these decisions. And on top, they will be better. Right? It's really a win-win situation. Um, and I think you have to start actively thinking about it. What do you really have to decide on your own? And what can you actually leave to somebody or to a machine? Um, most jobs will require data handling. And I'm not talking about just um, data scientists or engineers. I think that's clear. But I think you have to remember that everything basically needs to have a trace. So if you're working just in any job, you need to leave a trace so that the machine can take it over and actually try to automate this or the result of your job or maybe a later step. So, uh, yeah, my final remark maybe, yeah, if, uh, if you want to become a millionaire uh, in this revolution that is coming, that will be positive. Um, the only thing you have to do is when you come home tonight, open your laptops and delete Microsoft Excel. Yeah? It's not part of this revolution, and um, that's already it. Thanks a lot for your attention.